Welcome to this video. I am making this video to talk about uh, RAM, how you install it, and specifically how much and what kind do you need for mining. Um, so this is a little bit of both. It's really talking about the compatibility of um, RAM in general and how you install it and how much do you really need for mining. Um, so obviously there are two operating systems that I will talk about and I will basically limit myself to those two. One is Windows and how much RAM you need in Windows and the other one is Hive OS. That means that that RAM requirement for that operating system is different and that's what I'm going to talk about. So first let's start with how you basically install and, and uh, what to look for. First of all, almost all RAM sticks of all generations, they have these pins that are divided, one usually smaller than the other. And that's so that you don't insert it or install it the wrong way. Um, the early generation of DDR or even SDR, they had two fastening pins on both sides for each slot and the newer generation they have one and it's done so mainly for cost um, because you don't have to insert and, and extract the RAM very often so you can actually just get away with one even if it's a little bit cumbersome to pull it out, you're not going to be doing this very frequently. So that's the logic. So this is the newer motherboards, the newer generation of RAM, the older generation of RAM. They were a little bit more um, expensive, if you will. And so they use two pins. So that's that. I mean, if we go a little bit further, some dedicated mining motherboards like this one, they don't even use desktop RAM. They use laptop RAM. For example, this is a four gigabyte PC3. And so it's really depends what you're using it for. Clearly, this is not a Windows motherboard. Therefore, you can get away with four. So getting into the quantity, how much you need for Hive OS versus Windows. Four gigabytes, I've never had a problem in Hive OS. So one of these sticks running one, one motherboard is just more than enough because this is an eight gigabyte well, this is a four, so this would be enough, but this is an eight gigabyte. And so more than more than enough. In Windows, in the other hand, you will need at least eight, at least eight. And that's the current basic requirement. So two sticks, you'll get away with it if you're not running anything else, obviously, because it's it. it takes away a lot of processing power from day-to-day -day operations once you're running a mine in Windows. Obviously, I've been doing over 16 gigabytes just, just uh, to make sure that it's reliable. So you can clearly see that in Windows, you do so if you don't have a dedicated mine and you just want to get into crypto. And have a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the meme coins in your wallets. Then you do that. But otherwise, if you want to be a professional, you run Hive OS. And um, that's the end. Not of the video, but 
of your mining experience. You run HiveOS or any dedicated um, operating system and that's the end. So pretty much that's all I have to say with how much you need and what it is. Another thing now, this is in general, make sure since you're going to be running one stick, make sure that you're running it in the appropriate slot. When you run one stick, some motherboards and almost all of them, they require you to run a specific order of the RAM. And in this motherboard here, they even went as far as to color these. So you can see here, the red ones you need to populate first. And it's usually labeled as A2, B2, A1, B1. And therefore, A2, if you're running one stick, is the first to be populated. It's a little counterintuitive because you have A2. So if you were to install for mining purposes or any other that requires one stick, it goes to A2. And if you want to get DDR going, you run B2. And if you have four sticks, the same works here also. The same order works here also. If you have four sticks, you populate then A1 and B, B1. Um, if you have three sticks, you're going to lose DDR, but you gain the, the capacity, you still populate A1. So A2, B2, and A1. This will have no compatibility issues. Some other boards might run different orders, but the majority of them, if you read the booklet, the instruction manual will tell you A2, B2 for DDR, A2 for one stick, and um, the order is usually A to B, but the numbers are two to one. So that's all I have to say for this video. And uh, it's a little bit in general, I know, but we'll get into that mining stuff a little bit later. I need to make a few videos and 